we know that the hcf or the highest common factor is the greatest factor that two numbers have in common with each other so let us find the hcf of these two numbers 726 and 572 these two are three digit numbers now i can individually prime factorize each of them but that would take a lot of time we know that we can prime factorize both of them together using the common prime factors so i start with the lowest common prime factor so let's check for 2 2 is the lowest prime number so is 726 divisible by 2 yes because it is an even number is 572 divisible by 2 yes because it is an even number so i divide both of them by 2 so 726 when divided by 2 gives 363 as the quotient and 572 when divided by 2 gives quotient 2 so you can divide and check so you'll get the quotients as 363 and 286 this is what we have so we need to check both the numbers whether they are divisible by 2 or not i see that 363 is an odd number so this is not divisible by 2 so i move on to the next prime number which is 3 so using the divisibility rules if you check 363 is divisible by 3 but 2886 is not divisible by 3 so you move on to the next prime number which is 5 now we have 3 at the end so it is not divisible by 5 so i cannot divide both the numbers by 5 then you move on to the next prime number which is 7 and when you check whether these two numbers are divisible by 7 or not you will find that they are actually not divisible by 7 so what is the next prime number after 7 11 now these two are actually divisible by 11 so i divide them by 11 and i get the quotients as 33 and 26 so if i divide 363 by 11 the quotient is 33 and if i divide 286 by 11 the quotient is 26 now if i check for the next prime number which is 13 13 divides this but it does not divide 33 and we keep on checking for all the prime numbers till 26 we will see that there is no prime number which divides these two numbers so we need to stop here and the hcf is given by 2 into 11 so the hcf is 2 into 11 which is 22 so the hcf of 726 and 572 is 22 so you need to check for the prime factors which divide the two numbers over here i see that there are numbers which are not prime see 33 is not a prime number nor is 26 these are not prime numbers but still i stop here so it is not necessary that you need to stop only when you reach prime numbers there will be cases like this where you will not reach prime numbers but still you need to stop because there is no prime number which divides these two so 2 and 11 are the common prime factors of these two numbers and multiplying them i get the hcf now can you find the hcf of 234 and 390 using this method so first i need to write it like this and then divide by the lowest common prime factor which is 2 because both the numbers are even 234 divided by 2 is 117 the quotient 390 divided by 2 gives me 195 so this is what i have 
So you actually need to divide and find these quotients. Now do I need to divide by 2 again? No, because both the numbers are odd numbers. Next, I check for 3. So if you check using the divisibility rule of 3, you will see that both the numbers are divisible by 3. So I divide by 3. 117 divided by 3 gives me 39. And 195 divided by 3 gives me 65. So you need to actually divide and check. Now 39 and 65. Check for 3. You will find that 65 is not divisible by 3. So I check for the next prime number which is 5. 65 is divisible by 5 but 39 is not. I check for the next prime number which is 7. 39 is not divisible by 7. What is the next prime number? 11. 39 is not divisible by 11. So see I am just checking one number. If that number is not divisible by 11, then I don't need to check for the other number because both the numbers should be divisible. So even if 1 is not divisible, I can stop. Next prime number after 11 is 13. And if you check, both the numbers are divisible by 13. So 13 into 3 is 39. So when you divide 39 by 13, you get 3. And when you divide 65 by 13, you get 5. Now I've got 3 and 5. Now I always need to check for prime numbers equal to or greater than 13. So will 13 divide 3? No, because it is more than 3. In fact, no number more than 13 will divide these two. So I need to stop here. And the HCF is 2 into 3 into 13. So the HCF is 2 into 3 into 13. Now 2 into 3 is 6 and 6 into 13 is 78. So this is the HCF of these two three digit numbers. And see how easily we have found this using this common prime factorization method. So the HCF of 234 and 390 is 78. So practice more and more HCF problems using this method till you can get them all correct. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all the learning resources as per CBSC, ICSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures on maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis along with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve the slightest of your doubts. And that's not all. You can also win exciting prizes like Playstations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.